Hey guys, Charlie again. Um, this is a bit of a weird trans update because basically not much has happened. I've sent off for my referral with the Gender Identity Clinic back sort of towards the beginning of this year. We're now in November and I'm still just waiting to hear back. I'm still waiting to find out when my appointment is. And, and everything else that follows so I knew it was going to be a long wait when I got my letter back from the clinic they said that you can be waiting up to 14 months and I was really really annoyed by that because as soon as you know what you want and where you want to go you just want it now and that's exactly how it's been for me I've just been waiting to essentially start my life. You get fed up of waiting and you start trying to think of things to keep you going and stuff to distract you so that the wait doesn't seem so long. I imagine when I'm on the other side of testosterone and surgeries and things like that the wait won't have seemed so long and if ever I look back on these videos once I'm where I want to be I'll probably be like oh what was I complaining about but I'm still waiting and at this moment when the, everything that I want is in the future still it's really difficult and I find that everything in my life is is just about this everything I do I'm just sort of trying to break away from the fact that I'm waiting and that's what makes it so difficult because nothing I do at the moment is distracting me enough this year isn't going fast enough and I'm now at the point of because it's been so long and I've not heard anything I'm absolutely terrified that I'm waiting for nothing and it's I don't want to call up the clinic and be like, oh, I'm just checking, have I actually got all of my paperwork there and am I actually registered and is something happening? Because they did say that it will be up to 14 months and I've not even reached a 12 months mark yet. But I'm, I'm getting very, very impatient and I'm struggling with waiting and it's difficult. I find especially with this week, I've been struggling with really really bad dysphoria and it's been hard and I think because I've been struggling with my dysphoria so much I've been watching a load of YouTube videos of like transgender people who've been going through this process and I've been watching their journey and I think that's sort of made me even more impatient I think that's probably one of the worst things I could have done because now I've seen everything that they've gone through and I want it, I want it now but as much as I need those videos to keep me going it's also making it harder for me to keep going as well um, I just don't want to feel like this anymore I just, I just want to feel like the process is actually going somewhere and at the minute I just feel like I'm stuck and I'm not moving and I think for me that's the hardest part because if I had for example a, a message every so often as like a little reminder saying I'm on the waiting list or something then I'd feel better because then at least I think I'd be moving forward but because the last letter I got from the clinic was because with the NHS I was at because I was moving the NHS number I had was in my old name so I sent that off with my deed poll and I got a message back saying the details you've sent us are not in the correct name can you please resend them so I resent everything with a letter explaining what the situation was and I haven't heard anything back since so I think because I've been left with sort of no update on whether my details have been changed or if I've been upgraded or anything like that I don't know if I'm even still on the referral I don't even know if I'm on that waiting list I I'd like to think that I am 
just because they've not replied back, if they're because they replied to me saying that my name doesn't match, I think if we still had that problem, they'd contact me again saying, no, this is wrong, we haven't sorted this out yet. But I haven't heard anything, no, nothing's happened, and I think that's what's making it difficult because I feel like I don't know what's going on. And um, it makes it hard. And I'm really, really struggling with the whole waiting for this to happen thing. But I'll get there eventually. I mean, I know I'm not going to stay this way forever, but it's difficult waiting. And I'd like to think that sort of around the April mark is when I'm expecting to hear back from them. That's still five months away. <laughs> um, that's what I think makes it difficult because even looking into the future I know I'm on the sort of greater side now as in I've done most of the waiting I've still got about five months or so and I think oh, it shouldn't be this long I can understand making sure that someone wants to go through this process but they should probably sort of, I think it should be that they figure that out during all of the psychotherapy sessions that I'll have there because surely by going through all of that conversations of my past and my feelings and everything else I'm anticipating that will happen I imagine they'd be able to do an analysis on that as to whether I'm ready or if I need this and all of that stuff <laughs> that's another thing that terrifies me actually while we're on that subject is um because I've been watching other YouTubers talk about their psychotherapy-ish whatever sessions at the clinic and they briefly go over some of the questions they'll ask and they'll do an evaluation and I'm terrified that when I do this the evaluation is going to come back and say that I don't need this and it's just like, I, I do, I really do need this I'm worried because I can cope with a lot and I can deal with a lot and I'm worried that it'll be well, if you're fine with how you are now, why don't we just leave you how you are? It's just like, well, no, because just because I'm fine now doesn't mean I'll always be fine, and it doesn't mean that I should have to stay this way. But I won't know how that's going to go until it happens, and I'm still waiting for it to happen. I'm sorry that it's not really much of an update. This journey is a slow, slow one and it's taken a while before anything happens. I'm hoping that once I get the gender identity clinic stuff done, I'm hoping that it will be a bit quicker because they say that you need to have three psychotherapy sessions at least before they'll make a decision and hopefully after that you get your like you get your t-shirts and then they can put you on a waiting list for surgeries and things like that and we'll be able to actually talk about what my options are, what I can and can't get and how this whole thing's going to work. I think another thing that's hard for me is I don't know anyone who's going through this or has gone through this personally. I mean, I've got somebody who I talk to who's in America and I've got the people on YouTube, but I don't know them. I've never met them. It's just some people who I've briefly spoken to and it that makes it hard in a way because I haven't got anyone who's gone through most of this who I can talk directly to and who I can sort of share my feelings with everybody else who I can physically talk face to face has no idea about this stuff and I think that makes it difficult because everyone's on sort of the other side so they just they don't understand how I'm feeling they try but they don't and I appreciate all of the effort and I appreciate people talking to me online and everything but I don't have that close relationship with somebody who's going through this and somebody who knows all of the ins and outs and can like calm me down and sort my worries out and I think that makes it a bit difficult because I feel like I'm almost waiting in on my own right I'm gonna go and try and do something to distract myself but hopefully I'll have another update for you that's not in April and probably a bit sooner 
Bye, guys.